let me move on to lesson number four where the lesson number four is again a same logic that how many ways the word can be arranged but the condition is no two vowels comes together right so friends till lesson number three we have not even seen any formulas right from lesson number four we need to learn only one simple formula that what is called as npr right so npr is equal to n factorial divided by n minus r factorial because this is the basic formula for permutation if you need to learn permutation by add only this formula right so npr is equal to n factorial divided by n minus r factorial where p determines permutation so friends listen carefully right let me see how to apply this formula in some of the cases right there are six letters friends listen carefully i'm just saying that a b c d right there are four letters and there are two places right we need to place this four letter in this two place so how many ways this four letter can be placed in this two place so friends listen carefully how many total letters are there there are totally four letters that is a b c d so four right permutation so we denote as p and there are only two places right so this can be written as 4p2 so finally the answer is 4 factorial that is n factorial divided by n minus r factorial that is 4 minus 2 factorial will be 2 factorial right so 4 factorial will be 24 so 24 divided by 2 will be 12 so friends listen carefully there are four letters right friends listen there are four letters and there are three places so how many ways this four letter can be placed in this three places so we should write this as four that is total number of letters are four and there are only three places so four p three so this can be written as four factorial divided by four minus three that is one factorial so the answer is four factorial divided by one factorial right so friends another example let me move on to another example friends think that there are six letters right so a b c d e f only three places how to write this in the basic format right so totally there are one two three four five six how many ways this six letter can be placed here in three places so we can easily say that the answer will be total six so permutation that denotes p so 6 p3 so 6 factorial divided by 6 minus 3 factorial so the final answer is 6 factorial divided by 3 factorial similarly they can ask you right there are four places how many ways the six letter can be placed in this four place so we can easily say that six factorial that that is six factorial divided by six minus four factorial two factorial so the format is 6 p4 so friends listen and uh, another important thing just you need to know this right always the value of n should be more when compared to value of r friends understand the logic right always the value of n should be more when compared to value of r you should not write as 2p4 that is exactly wrong why because see in the numerator we have 2 but in the denominator we have 4 always the numerator value should be more when compared to the denominator right think like that uh, some people will have one doubt right friends listen carefully uh, there are Mm, two letters right a b there are two letters but here there are four places how many ways this two letter can be placed in this four places don't write this as 2 p 4 this is wrong why because where the numerator is less than the denominator so friends listen carefully here we need to see how many places are there that is four places and we need to place two letters so this should be written as 4 p 2 always the value of here should be higher when compared to this value that is the logic and just by our this formula so let me move on to these kinds of condition sums that no two vowels comes together before solving a question first of all let me understand what is the concept of lesson number two and lesson number three and lesson number four you should know what is the difference between these lessons because it is most important to solve a question right friends listen here and my students and my friends who are having a lots of doubt between lesson number three and lesson number four in the concept right lesson number three is vowels never come together but lesson number four no two vowels comes together right you should know what is the difference between lesson number three and lesson number four friends first of all uh, i have just took this lesson number two that is vowels comes together and vowels never come together and no two vowels comes together so let me frame a word according to the condition right friends see here friends they have given a word mission right we need to frame a word that is vowels comes together i can write we know that a i e is a vowel right similarly we know that in every word where a i e is a vowel a 
by e okay here all the three vowels should comes together right so i can write a word as a i e the remaining that is m c h n friends from this given word i have framed one word according to the given condition that vowels comes together i can say that in this word where vowels comes together correct or wrong friends it is correct right similarly i can write a word like this m c a e i h n from the given word i am just framing this word as m c a e i h n whether it is in the correct format or not yeah it is in a correct format why because we know that in the given question a i e is a vowel and here the vowel is comes together right all the vowels are comes together so this is lesson number 2 which we have solved right next is second condition that is the same word for the mission we need to write vowels never come together so friends understand the concept clearly here they are talking about vowels should never come together right i am just uh, going to write an example word right from the given word mission i am just going to frame a word that uh, a m c h uh, then i e and uh, whether any other word yeah yeah friends listen carefully from the given word i have written the word as a m c h i e n whether it is in the proper format according to the given condition or not yes it is in the proper format why because here it is a one vowel and here it is i and e and e and many students having a doubt that how i and e can come together they have said that vowels never come together but why you wrote that i and e here friends listen carefully the concept is all the vowels they have given vowels never come together but we should think in our mind that all the vowels should not be together where in the given question there are three vowels and these three vowels should not come together friends but the two vowels can come together but all the three vowels should not come together here a is an vowel and i and e is an another vowel so all the three vowels in this word does not comes together right and similarly we can write this word as m uh, i that is a and e c h n right and um, here a and okay we can write like this c and e okay just see whether it is in the correct format or not according to the given condition yeah it is in the correct format right we know that a i e is the vowel and a i e should not comes together right all the three vowels should not comes together if two vowels comes together not to worry about it right see your friends we know that i and e is a vowel i and a is a vowel and e is an also an another vowel whether all the three vowels comes together no the two vowels comes together so i can say that this is in the correct format so let me move on to the last example that no two vowels comes together listen the concept friends again i am just going to write an example that a m c i h mm, n e i am saying that according to the given condition it is in the correct format why because we know that there are three vowels a i e but all the three vowels should not come together that is the concept of no two vowels comes together see here a and here it is i and here it is e so all the three vowels never come together that is the concept called no two vowels comes together friends understood the concept right see here friends mission vowels together all the three vowels should come together vowels never come together all the three vowels should not come together but the two vowels can come together right and here no two vowels come together all the three vowels should not comes together right a i e should be separated definitely all the three vowels should not be comes together so this is the concept called vowels never come together and vowels comes together and no two vowels comes together right so let me take some of the example according to this condition that no two vowels comes together let me move on to the first question right the concept is how many ways the word can be arranged where no two vowels comes together that means all the vowels should never come together right see your friends they have given a word banker right we need to write a word how many ways the word can be written so that no two vowels comes together first of all see what are all the vowels are there we know that a and e are the vowels so similarly write a and e inside a bracket and write the remaining consonants here that is the remaining consonants are b n k r friends listen listen carefully this a and e should not comes together right no two vowels should not comes together listen friends if i place a here then definitely we can't able to place e here definitely we can place e or we can place e or we can place e here or we can place e at the last if i place e here we can place a here a here a here 
so the concept is a and e should not comes together listen carefully friends just check how many gaps are there we can place a or e or a or e or a right there are so many places so one two three four five there are five places in this five places where we can place this two letter friends got the idea here there are five places in this five places we can place this two letter that is a and e into and this b n k r can be written as k n r b or n k r b right so this four letters can be written as four factorial ways so the final answer is 5 p 2 into 4 factorial got the logic friends so let me see some more examples so that you can clear on the concept right okay second example that is computer c o m p u t e r and they are saying that how many ways the word computer can be arranged so that no two vowels comes together step number one see how many vowels are there and place it inside a bracket o u e right these are the three vowels so o u e write the remaining consonants here that is c m p t r if i place o here then definitely u must be placed here and e must be placed here. why because all the three vowels should never come together just see how many places are there one two three four five six out of the six place i should place any three vowels friends listen carefully out of total six places we are going to place this three vowel so six p3 and the remaining letter c m p t r can be written as any different ways so one two three four five so this can be written as five factorial ways just see any repeated letters are there no repeated letters so the finally the answer is 6 p 3 into 5 factorial got the logic friends step number one we need to see how many vowels are there and place it inside a bracket at the right hand side and write the remaining consonants at the left hand side and see how many places are there in this places we need to place this three vowel we have got six places in this six places we are going to place this three vowel so 6 p 3 and the remaining letters can be arranged in five factorial ways okay let me go for another example that is sister just see how many vowels are there so i and e there are two vowels so place i and e at bracket at the right hand side and see how many consonants are there s s t r right so s s t r just see how many space one two three four five so in this five places we are going to place this two vowel so five p two and listen carefully friends s s t r can be arranged in different ways right so this can be written as four factorial because four letters friends in previous case there is no repeated letter but in this case where we can find two s so divided by two factorial if you solve this finally you can get an answer so the answer is 5 p 2 into 4 factorial divided by 2 factorial okay let we move on to the last word that is permutation similarly see how many vowels are there that is e u a i o o all the vowels are there right so e u a i o so these are the vowels and write the remaining consonants p r m t t n so friends listen carefully how many spaces are there right so one two three four five six seven there are seven places in this seven places where we can place one two three four five vowels so seven places we can place this five vowel so seven p five so the remaining p r m t t n can be arranged in different ways right so totally there are six letters can be arranged in six factorial ways and see here friends are there any repeated word yeah there are two times t is repeated so divided by two factorial so the finally the answer is 7 p 5 into 6 factorial divided by 2 factorial i hope you can understand this logic and friends listen carefully if they ask no two consonants comes together if you watch from lesson number one till lesson number four you can easily crack the question if they are talking about no two consonants comes together just place the consonants inside the bracket at the right hand side and if sometimes they can give uh, o and m no two letters that is o and m should not comes together just place o and m at the bracket so whatever uh, letters they are talking about just place the letters inside a bracket and write the remaining letters and count how many places are there and you can easily crack the question always remember that if there is any repeated letters so divided by factorial that is most important